We have dealt ISIS one devastating defeat after another. The coalition to defeat ISIS has now recaptured almost 100 percent of the land once held by these terrorists in Iraq and in Syria. We're now chasing them wherever they flee, and we will not let them into the United States. ISIS, a global threat a year ago, now nearly wiped out under President Trump in some parts of the world. Here to weigh in is the Navy SEAL who killed Osama bin Laden, the author of the great book, big bestseller, The Operator. Rob O'Neill joins us live. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Steve. Thanks for having me. Eradicating ISIS. Uh, when he was candidate Trump, he yes. said he was going to do it. Are we closer? We're getting closer now because a lot of the ideology they had, they were the first terrorist group to have the Islamic State. And right. they, they moved it into uh, Iraq. They had their place in Syria, the capital of Raqqa. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of a quiet story now, you would think, because they, they, were, they were the worst thing in the world. The only news we were talking about, because of what President Trump did with his delegation of authority to get someone like General Mattis, the Secretary of Defense, sure. to... to uh, Take, to lift up some of the rules of engagement that were handcuffing our people and right. realize that we need to go in there with a lot of military force, and we did. We did have a, a, some of the Allied support that we needed, had some help. It's going to be some strange bedfellows because we have Iranian-backed militias now that right. sort of, they, they, they were there for Mosul, and they're going to use us when they can use our air power. But ISIS itself, the ideology as the, <clears throat> the people are realizing this is not the Islamic State that they were waiting for. Exactly. And keep in mind, it wasn't that many years ago where it was Al-Qaeda was the big mm. terrorist group, and it was like, ISIS will never be as big as well, Al-Qaeda. they were called the JV team. Exactly right. Now, see, the thing with ISIS and Al-Qaeda, though, is Al-Qaeda is still around. It and is. and they, they will let ISIS be the, the big, loud bully. That what, what I always say is that, you know, they'll let ISIS... Uh, uh, stab you in the front. Al Qaeda will stab you in the back, and you can't forget they've got fighters out there too now. And with everybody spreading back, that we've got issues now with some of these fighters wanting to rehabilitate. Uh, yeah. uh, Prime Minister Trudeau in Canada. How's thinks, that work out? Yeah, I mean, you get them back. He said art and poetry. I'm sure they'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Give them a quick hug. I'm sure that these people that have been massacring people and sex slavery, I'm sure they'll forget all about it. That's just ridiculous. Um, I'm worried about the cubs of the caliphate. The these kids. are the really young kids now, and they're brainwashed, and they're back in the UK. And so, I mean, I don't know if they're going to be able to be rehabilitated with local. I mean, they're going to they're not going to be OK if they were part of some of these beheading videos, some of these sure. burning alive videos, playing soccer with human heads, which they were doing. Um, I don't know how to rehabilitate a kid yeah. that age. It's got to start somewhere. But a year into the Trump administration, your assessment is? Well, the assessment is he, he proved that the Islamic State was not what it was supposed to be. And because they were always saying we welcome coalition forces here yep. with us, the Brits, the Aussies crushed them. So uh, they wanted to meet us on the battlefield. They did. It's over. In ISIS. Or, sorry, in Syria. Rob O'Neill, thank Merry you Christmas. very much. Thanks Merry for Christmas, Christmas to you. Thanks thank for you. your service.